Hi Capricorns, welcome to the channel. I'm the Sag Room Diva, for those of you all that are new. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. All right, look, let's skip past all of that. I need to get straight to the point. <laughs> what keeps playing over and over in my ear right now is Nicki Minaj, do we have a problem? Who didn't piss some of y'all off? Okay, do we have a problem? <laughs> That's all I keep hearing. Somebody, somebody got some, either somebody has a beef with you or you have a beef with this person. We got to figure out what this is. Um, let me see. <laughs> oh, let me see. Who got a beef with the sign of Capricorn, baby? Somebody got a problem with y'all. Do we have a problem? <laughs> Hold up, shawty. Hold up. <laughs> Oh, somebody got a beef for Jow. <laughs> you ain't getting your, what is that? You ain't getting your, your man back or something. Oh, y'all beefing with somebody over a man. Some of you all could be, I'm, I'm telling you, some of you all are beefing with somebody. Somebody got beef with you. You may not even realize it. You got your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. I'm telling you, you all got a snake, okay? There's a snake around you that has a problem with you, whether you know it or not. Mm. It says, a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become full, okay? I feel like somebody has a beef with y'all because y'all decided to go in a different direction in your life, okay? For some of you all, this could be for spiritual reasons. It's like, no, you know, I, wanna, I don't want to do those things I used to do anymore. I'm a changed person. And you got people around you going, ah, whatever. Don't nobody care about your journey, your new beginning, you feeling good about yourself. See, let me tell you something. You'd be surprised. Some of the most hate that a person gets is because they want to better their lives. They want to upgrade themselves. That's when all of these people start coming out the woodwork and everybody has an opinion. Isn't it amazing how everybody has an opinion about you elevating? But if you were low vibrating and doing all of the things that you used to do and whatever that is that you do, drugs, it don't matter. But as soon as you say... No, I want to live a drug-free life, or I just want to be celibate for a while. I want to find me. All of a sudden, people think you're crazy, and all of these little situations. So there's somebody out here. I'm telling you, somebody don't like that y'all are elevating. See that eagle going and flying above the rest? It's like I'm not trying to act like I'm. I don't. I don't think that I'm better than you. The problem that the people that you have around you, Capricorn. They think you're better than them. So they're projecting their insecurities onto you because you decided to upgrade. It says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. I'm telling you, the more you go on your journey, the more you pull away from these snakes in the grass, the more you trust your intuition, you're going to find that your circle is going to get smaller and smaller. For some of you all, you are very popular. You have a lot of friends around you, and sometimes that's, that can be a hindrance, okay? Because when you have so many people around you, some of you all are definitely very family-oriented. You have a lot of friends, a lot of attention, a lot of uh, associates at work and everything. Hell, some people even think they're your friend because of how well you treat them, but at the same time, for all of that popularity, you have some people that are, you know, not liking the new you, not liking this path you're taking. I'm telling you, somebody two faces hell around y'all. Look at that. Bring love into the situation. Some of you all could have a moon in Aquarius. Yeah, some of y'all, you really got to pull back your energy and you got to get focused because I'm telling you. They're communicating. They're just not telling you they got a problem with you. You see that two-faced? That's that Gemini energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini. Some of you all could have a moon in Gemini. Some of you all could have a moon in Cancer, okay? And it's also saying here that personal issue reaches a resolution. Ooh, y'all about to figure something out. I'm telling you, y'all about to figure out who this snake is. I'm telling you, you're about to figure out who this snake is. Give me the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please. For the sign of Capricorn, what is this uh, issues in regards to? Oh, what? What did I tell you? 
somebody was comfortable with where you all used to be. Some of you all were comfortable in relationships and you just stayed in relationships where you weren't happy, stayed with friendships where you weren't happy, staying at a job, whatever, where you weren't happy. And this is where everybody around you were comfortable with you being. For some of you, this is an Aries that was comfortable with you being in this energy and following the same pattern over and over again, where you may have wanted to start a business, but everybody around you was like, no, you know, you should just stick to what it is that you're doing because it's bringing you a check. And you're like, yeah, I got this check, but I'm not happy. Okay. So this is, what did I tell you? You started slowly changing, but the more change that you brought, oh, I, I keep getting it. It's playing over and over again. I don't know what they want from me. It's like the more money we come across, the more problems we see. Wow, it seemed like the more you moved up, the more you started receiving abundance and all of these blessings and everything, the slowly you started to see that you got people around you that you need to end friendships with. There is definitely somebody around you. It could be a Scorpio that your success, your happiness, your abundance makes this person feel some type of way. And in the words of Cat Williams, it is the esteem of your mother freaking self. How can I make you feel some way about you? That is your self-esteem. How am I affecting your self-esteem? I'm telling you, there are people around you who are in grief, who are sad, who are hurt because your, your shine makes them feel some kind of way. Isn't that some nerve? <laughs> how can my success make you feel small? But this is how this person feels towards you. This is somebody that I, I don't know if, I don't know if you try to help. This is somebody I feel like you all tried to help. You, like I, so I'm telling you, some of y'all got a friend that was comfortable. This could have been a friend. This could have been a lover, whatever the case may be. Put the situation where you may. There was somebody around you that was comfortable with where you were in life. And when you started to move up, it made them feel some kind of way. And you even tried to help this person. Let me tell you, you didn't help this person a time or two. But baby, when it's time to help you, this person, oh, I ain't got it. Uh, I ain't got it. Oh, you caught me at a bad time. I ain't got it. Bullshit. I'm telling you. What did I tell you? This is somebody you tried to help time and time again. And it seemed like every time you tried to help this person, something on your end got messed up. Your blessings kept getting blocked by trying to help this page of cups right here. Ooh, trying to be a helpful person to them, trying to be a trustworthy friend, trustworthy lover to this person. And every time you ended up in what? Misery. Nine of swords. Look at that. There's somebody that you keep trying to help Capricorn out of a situation. You can't change this person. They have to be willing to change themselves. This is why this eight of cups is in the reverse, because there's something that's going on where you keep looking back. Oh, I feel like I need to help this person or this same amount of people. They need to get out of that because at one point we were all at the bottom, you know, trying to, you know, make it in life and this and that. So I don't want to, you know, lean up out of behind. I want to stay loyal. You cannot be loyal to everybody. OK, because there are some people out there, they will take advantage of you constantly helping them and therefore they won't grow. Yes. OK, there's that ace of swords. It's a number of truth that you're hearing. Somebody is hearing a truth. Somebody is getting a revelation that you can't save everybody because trying to save everybody else is breaking you, causing you anxiety, causing you to be in your head, causing you a lack of a lot of pain, causing you to have a broken heart. You got to stop hurting yourself in order to build somebody else up, okay? Just like you found your tools, all of the things that you were able to manifest with and, and, and been able to come up out of your situation, this person got to do the same thing. You are not this person's keeper, period. They have to be able to see, I'm, I'm telling you, every time you've helped this person, Capricorn, Everything seems to fall around you. I'm telling you, there are people around you that can block your blessings. You keep letting this person block your blessings. Look at that. Look at that devil card. Look at that um, devil card there in the reverse. Some of you all could be dealing with the Capricorn. And it's like some of you have gotten to this point or you will soon be at this point where enough is enough. You're finally going to let this person go because you're realizing that you're dealing with when it comes to this relationship or whatever is going on here in your life, you are starting to realize that, oh, I told you, 
you all are starting to be or beginning to realize a situation because that devil card in the reverse, that's somebody that's starting to see it, reaching a reaching a, a moment in your life of an enlightenment. It something doesn't make something in this situation doesn't make sense anymore. And it's this it's this relationship here. For some of you, I feel like, I don't know if this is a sibling. I don't know if this is a child you're needing to let them know that I'm telling you, somebody still has an overgrown child. And when I say overgrown child, I'm talking about a grown man or woman that has, that does not want to grow up. They don't want to get out here and start a life that they're supposed to start. And they keep looking at you or trying to blame you for everything. Well, my dad wasn't here or my mom wasn't here. So you're the only parent. So you got to help me. Or I have this going on. So you got to help me. No, no. At some point, you need your own wings to fly. Somebody keeps trying to live off of you and it is draining you. It is causing you pain. It is causing you sadness. I'm telling you, somebody has somebody has cried a lot over this. Because this, I don't know if somebody is doing this by also trying to stunt your dreams. I keep feeling like somebody is saying, well... You're not going to be anything or it's not going to pan out. You got to get a, oh, get away from these people. Why are these messages coming through? Why are these messages coming through for the sign of Capricorn, please? Why are these messages coming through? Oh, baby. Listen. This person, for some of you all, this is a relationship. This is a marriage or something where you all have had a connection with someone. Maybe they're trying to keep you with them because you all have a child together. What about the child? What about the family? Don't break the family up. This person is a major spiritual lesson in your life, okay? A lesson in, a lesson in moving forward, a, a, mess, a lesson in choosing you, okay? It kills me when you ignore me. Sorry, I led you on. See, this is somebody that keeps playing these mind games because falling in love is scary. This is somebody that is immature. Look at this. I'm practicing spell work to bring you back and keep others away from you. Some of you all have been saying to yourself, I don't know what it is. I don't know if this person is putting black magic on me. Hell, I don't even know what black magic is. What is going on? Why do I feel like I have to stay stuck and tied to this person when all I want to do is move on? At the end of the day, you have the ability to say no at any point and stop a situation from continuing on. Somebody needs to learn to let go and let God. Okay, whatever the chips may fall with this person, you got to, I'm telling you, there, there's codependency here. Somebody got to let this person go because whoever this is, they're stopping you from growing. And this person knows they're doing it. Your intuition is telling you that this person is no good because that's why that snake card came out. For some of you, oh, for some of you all, this is somebody, God dang it, look at the bottom of the deck. I don't deserve you. They know they don't deserve you. Let me tell you, some of you all are dealing with somebody who always talks about how they're going to get up and go get a job. Once they stop smoking weed, oh, I'm going to stop smoking weed. Uh, can you do me a favor and uh, buy me something that will help clear my system out? See, these them type of people that I'm talking about. The kind where they can't even put a blunt down long enough in order for them to go get a job. Instead, they'll make all of these excuses so they can still keep living off of you. Still keep draining you of your funds and your, uh, and your energy. Don't let people get to the point where they start taking from you. I always tell people, listen, the only people going to drive me crazy in this world is myself. I'll be darned if you're going to take me down with you. Somebody got to cut somebody out in their life. Somebody got to cut somebody off. It is what it is. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they are, they are either a chain smoker, like they smoke a lot of cigarettes, or this is somebody that smokes a lot of weed. Smoke something, okay? Somebody smoke some type of substance. And this is somebody that there's always some type of fighting that's going on. Or there's some type, that I'm telling you, somebody missing sleep. Somebody suffering behind this. Because that person bringing them down. Okay, you or your person can have the initial L. Like I said, got a light. Somebody either smokes a lot of cigarettes they stress out, so they have to smoke. You could be stressed out and smoking a lot of cigarettes behind this person. 
that's doing this, that's practicing this spell work on you, trying to keep you stuck. You have threesome here. Some of you all could be involved in that, or it could be a third party, where, or it could be some, I feel like there's just somebody that is comfortable, could be three or more people that is comfortable with keeping you stuck. You or your person could be in their early 30s. They're telling you, Capricorn, have no fear. Do not have any fear about moving forward and choosing you. Again, this is a spiritual lesson. Back and forth, maybe. There's that two of swords. I don't know. What should I do? What should I do? I'm indecisive. Should I stay or should I go? You need to be around people that motivate you. That ace of wands, somebody around you is stopping your creative flow. Somebody's stopping it. Silent treatment. This is how this person uses and manipulates. If I don't talk to you and I upset you, then I have you. That's that spell work. I can get you to come back by me ignoring you. You or your person could be in their early 60s. Some of you all could be dealing with a Libra. You or your person could be short. This is, um, once again, this is a learning lesson for someone out here. It's a learning lesson reach out. If you all need help getting out of a situation, if it's a dangerous situation, you contact law enforcement, contact your family, contact your friends, somebody to get you out of this because you all are in a rut. You are stuck. There was a tower that happened in this situation a long time ago, but somebody is still staying in something that ain't working. It is not working. Only thing that is doing is draining you of your energy. Time's ticking. What you gonna do? Somebody wasted a lot of years with somebody. Just because you've known them for a long time don't mean they're the right person for you. Don't mean that they are a good friend to you because, well, I've known them for so long. So what? That still don't mean that they bring you any happiness because I see somebody here that is staying in a situation hoping for security, hoping for stability in a place where it's been over. Didn't I tell y'all this was over a long time ago? Somebody is in a marriage, a relationship, somebody dealing with some, some low vibrating toxic family members or friends that you have associated yourself with for so long that you feel like this is what you deserve. This relationship is over. There is no second chances. You need to grow and you need to transform because again, this was a spiritual lesson. Have you learned your lesson? Get the final messages to close out this reading, please. Final messages to close out the reading for the sign of Capricorn. Again, uh, there will be another video for you guys uh, soon. It's kind of busy around here, so hopefully I can get the other video out tonight. If not tomorrow, if not tonight, I can get it out hopefully by tomorrow. Thank you all for being so patient with me because between this and you know running the other channels and also doing personal readings. It's very little time, but I still make sure that I have time to do what I need to do. Your final messages. It says stars. You can manifest every wish. See what I mean? You have all the tools. You've already showed these people around you that you were, you were capable of doing something. There's something successful some of you all have done. And I feel like it's your starting point. You're like, oh my God, if I can do this, what else can I do? Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody either wants to move and go uh, follow their dreams. They want to be a star. Other people are trying to keep them in clothes. No, you only get one life. You need to live the life doing what it is that you want. Somebody wants to travel. They want to have fun. But let's just be honest. You can't travel with people that ain't going nowhere. And the only thing they see is what is in front of them. Got to think outside the box. They say you already have all the answers that you need. Paint the sun back into your sky. Some of you all, I'm telling you, you may have grown up in a very negative environment where you didn't get to see a lot of people succeed. I'm getting, uh, I just got that somebody didn't see, people. you're maybe the only person in your family that graduated high school or graduated college so or started a business. So these other people around you, they don't have anything to give you as a blueprint. So you got to write the blueprint. I can't even speak, Jesus. So you have to, Create your own blueprint. 
Get out there and live your life for you, Capricorn, not for other people. And I guarantee you, you will have a life that will be amazing and you won't have to look back and say shoulda, coulda, woulda. If you all enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Side Moon Diva. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!